astronauts. Uh, Tom Marshburn is the only astronaut who had been to space previously on two space flights. So they launched as rookies, and three more are coming home with their astronaut wings. I wish Matthias was uh, just a little bit more in view there. I'd love to see if he was actually taking a nap. I mean, <laughs> they've been uh, in Dragon for a little while now, so I could imagine, you know, a pre-re-entry nap might just be the ticket. This is a good shot too, because you can see that their visors are still up. They are in their suits. They haven't had to be in their suits this entire time. Um, after they exited the approach ellipsoid, which is a, an invisible boundary that we use to monitor vehicles arriving and departing the space station, they were able to get out of those suits and put on their more comfortable clothes uh, for this journey over the past almost 24 hours now. Uh, and so now they're back in those suits to prepare for re-entry and they don't have their helmet visors down yet. It's not quite that point, um, but they'll be able to close those shortly here as we get closer to the deorbit burn. As we mentioned before, Dragon right now is flying itself autonomously. Uh, this is an important safety feature. Of course, the crew has been trained extensively to act as a backup to Dragon and all of its systems. But right now, we are getting ready for uh, SLU to jettison the trunk. And then shortly after that, just a couple of minutes actually, we'll have claw separation of the vehicle as well. Everyone looks like they're pretty comfortable in there. And I can imagine they would be. These are custom fitted spacesuits, custom fitted seats. Um, I don't think it can get much more custom <laughs> or comfortable. Yeah, we wanted them to look good, uh, be safe, and be comfortable. Uh, so the, as you mentioned, those suits are custom fitted. So the astronauts go through multiple fitting sessions with our spacesuits team here in Hawthorne, California. Um, the seats that they're sitting in are uh, custom sized. They basically come in small, medium, and large. You can kind of think of it that way. Um, and that sizing differentiation uh, is with respect to the size of the footrest, the size of the bucket of the seat that they're in, um, as well as the size of the armrest. So uh, for each individual astronaut, you know, some people have longer legs and shorter arms or longer arms and shorter legs and, or long tor torsos, you know, there's a lot of variation in there between each body. And to make sure that everybody has a, uh, a, a good ergonomic position during the dynamic re-entry events and launch events, uh, we make sure that those seats, uh, you know, fit each astronaut and their body accordingly.
And again, these will help slow the capsule to 350 miles per hour, which still seems fast, but compared to 17,500. There we can see the deployment of those main parachutes. The vehicle's velocity is about 119 miles per hour. Yeah, SpaceX Dragon, we see four chutes, and we could distinctly feel the two disc reefs. It looks like Donald Dissent race. Four main parachutes. These are the uh, last big physical change we'll see for Dragon as it continues its descent. Uh, it will slow the capsule down to about 15 miles per hour before splashing down. And teams are in position. They're, they're uh, moving their way closer to where the Dragon will splash down. Again, we'll have some fast boats that will um, approach the capsule first, ensure it's safe for the recovery ship to approach. Now, for those that might not be familiar uh, with Dragon itself over the lifespan of the Dragon program, we've had great success with um, water landing, which is what we are attempting today. Um, we've had uh, with uh, 25 su successful splashdowns. Um, all right, as you can see there on your screen, Dragon Endurance during first week. Copy, we see the same and main attack. Crew 3 crew has splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida. On behalf of the entire SpaceX team, welcome home. Willkommen auf der Erde. It's been an absolute honor to support you on your mission, Endurance crew, and thanks for flying SpaceX. Yeah, so this person's about to make their egress <laughs> from the capsule momentarily. <laughs> Whoop. Tally ho. There we go. Alonso. Dragon SpaceX, brace for capsule lift. You can see the water sloshing around there. That is um, actually where the parachutes deploy from. The main parachutes are located in that bay there under the side hatch. The drogue parachutes are located in the bays above the side hatch. That's a great view, as you mentioned, of the side hatch. So when they place Dragon in the nest, as they're preparing to do now, uh, they will pull it closer to an egress platform because this is significantly high off the ground, maybe 10 feet off the ground. So there's an egress platform that is level with the side hatch. Uh, that way it makes it easier for us to help the crew members um, out of the capsule. Those of you that have joined us recently, the Crew 3 crew has splashed down off the coast of Tampa, Florida. Our recovery vessel, Shannon, has picked them up um, out of the water, and we can see there um, the teams are preparing to assist the crew as they exit or egress the uh, capsule. And that splashdown coming right on time at 9.43 p.m. Pacific, 12.43 a.m. Eastern Time off the coast of Tampa, Florida, in the Gulf of Mexico. Once again, the Crew 3 crew has splashed down after spending a total of 177 days in space, 175 of those days on the International Space Station. And they saw quite a lot during their stay on the space station, including the arrival of eight visiting vehicles. That includes the Axiom 1 crew just a couple of weeks ago, as well as the Crew 4 crew, uh, just last week. The crew today consisting of European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Marr and NASA astronauts Raja Chari, Tom Marshburn, and Kayla Barron. I could imagine that after spending six months in space, all of, the, all of this must feel really weird. We heard him make a joke earlier about the water bottle feeling heavy. <laughs> <laughs> we can see the Commander Raja Chari has now egress the capsule and is making his way onto the rollaway. Looked like we had some thumbs up there just momentarily. Mm -hmm. That means our two mission specialists, Matthias Marr and Kayla Barron, are still inside. And there's Marshburn. Also looks to be in great spirits. All right, looks like Kayla Barron has made her way down Dragon's uh, accessibility slide and is going to be making her way to the medical tents. I think I see a smile on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
we have one more crew member inside Crew Dragon. That's European Space Agency astronaut Matthias Marr, one of the mission specialists. That'll be our last crew member to exit Crew Dragon Endurance. All four will now be receiving uh, those routine medical checks inside the bays on recovery vessel Shannon before being escorted to the helicopter that will take them back to land. Their first uh, steps on dry land in six months. Once the recovery vessel uh, and the Dragon capsule get back to the port, the recovery team will perform additional inspections uh, on, on the capsule before um, loading Dragon onto a flatbed truck at the SpaceX facility in Cape Canaveral for post-processing. We definitely saw a big thumbs up from Matthias Marr um, on coming back from his first space.